Ladies and gentlemen, listen up because what I'm about to say will have you glued to your seat. Picture this. A player quiet as a whisper, stepping into the spotlight on one of the most dynamic offenses in football. But this isn't about the big names you already know, no. No, this is about someone who's been grinding in the shadows, learning, evolving, and now delivering in ways that nobody saw coming. This is the kind of story that transforms good teams into dynasties. Stay with me, because once you hear what's unfolding in Kansas City, you'll see why the script for the season just got a whole lot more interesting. There are moments in sports that sneak up on you. They don't scream for your attention. They don't parade themselves in headlines before the season even starts. But when you step back and really examine what's happening, you realize a fundamental shift is taking place. That's exactly what's brewing in Kansas City right now with a tight end you've probably underestimated. Noah Gray. The Chiefs are synonymous with high-octane offense, surgical precision, and a quarterback whose name alone can strike fear into defenses. But even the most lethal offenses evolve. Why? Because the NFL doesn't stand still. Opponents adapt, injuries happen, and teams are forced to dig deeper into their rosters to find answers. That's where Noah Gray enters the conversation. And let me tell you, his rise isn't just a product of circumstance. This is about talent meeting opportunity. It starts with what Kansas City has been dealing with this year, a wide receiver room that has been a carousel of injuries and inconsistency. You've got big names spending more time on the sidelines than on the field, and naturally, someone had to step up. But don't think for a second that Gray's emergence is just a lucky break. The Chiefs saw this coming. Just before the regular season kicked off, they doubled down on their belief in him with a contract extension. Now, does a team like Kansas City throw money at just anyone? Not a chance. This move was calculated, and it's paying off in spades. Look at the numbers. Through 10 games, Noah Gray isn't just participating, he's producing at a career-best level. He's averaging 9.9.6 yards per game, and let's not forget his first two-touchdown performance. That's not a fluke, folks. That's a player hitting his stride in his fourth year, showing the kind of consistency that quarterbacks dream about. And speaking of quarterbacks, you better believe Patrick Mahomes is noticing. Mahomes doesn't mince words when it comes to praise. He sees what's happening in practice, in the film room, and on the field. This isn't some flashy loudmouth player demanding attention. No, Gray is a worker quiet, focused, and relentless. Mahomes himself said it. He does everything the right way. He's learned a ton from Travis Kelts. Now, when you hear that, don't just gloss over it. Kels is the gold standard for tight ends. If Gray's picking up even a fraction of Kelsey's game, the Chiefs just added another layer to their offensive arsenal. But it's not just about mentorship. Gray's growth is rooted in preparation. This guy is a sponge soaking up knowledge and mastering the intricacies of an offense that demands precision. He's where he needs to be when Mahomes is looking his way. That trust, that chemistry, it doesn't happen overnight. It's built through countless reps, through hours of film study, through the kind of discipline that separates good players from great ones 